Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Mikino's Plain Find 3D feature. As you can see behind me here, I have a block sitting in the machine, intentionally skewed, so it's not sitting flat in the machine. This block is sitting skewed. So normally what you would need to do is you would need to skew the block so that it is sitting uh, normal in the machine. Uh, with this function, uh, this eliminates the need to purchase any expensive options like a probe option or anything of that nature. You can just use it with a dial indicator on any of Makino's products here. Uh, so today I'm gonna walk through uh, the step-by-step -step on how to do that. We're gonna navigate to the setup page and navigate to the Plain Find 3D function. On the Plain Find 3D function, we have two items. We have a plane measure and work rotate. So we're gonna start off by talking about that plane measure. Uh, and then we have a top and a side. So you can pick points on the top to determine that skew or points on the side to determine skew. Uh, we're gonna use the top today since we have a nice big top surface. With that top selected, uh, what we're gonna do is now we're going to set up our dial indicator. Get our dial indicator on our mag base. And then essentially what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick three points on the top face which define a plane. Those three points are gonna correlate to where they are on the screen here. And what we're gonna do is basically get machine positions. I'm gonna navigate to the first position manually. So grab the hand box and move around. And you can do whatever number you want. Uh, I like to use zero, but as long as you repeat on the same number on the indicator every single time, uh, then everything will come out correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my indicator down until it hits zero. Okay, now my indicator's at zero. Now on the control, under the first position, I'm gonna press get position. And what's that, what that has done is it's recorded the machine position where we currently are, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, simply just move my Z axis up and then move to position number two. So move to position number two, come down, bring the indicator back to zero again. Press the get position button and then now I'm gonna to drive to the third position. So Z axis up. Come over to my third position. Bring the Z axis back down until my indicator reads zero again. My indicator is zero and I press the get position button. So now it's picked those three positions which define a plane. We scroll down. Next item we're gonna press the button is compute UV angles. So this is gonna do the calculations, the math for us. So press that. Down below it will show the, the U angle and the V angle calculated. Step three, now it's actually going to shift the U and V axes. So it tells us first to remove the dial indicator so we don't uh, crash that. So take our dial indicator off the machine. And what it's telling us to do is move to the machining Z axis site, where we're gonna do the machining at. So move our Z axis to the specified machining height and then press number four, shift UV axes. So highlight that button, then press the start. And then what you're gonna see on the control is you're gonna see the UV axes uh, are shifted with a zero. Uh, so it's shifted now normal to the work piece, but not perfectly vertically aligned. At this point, now you would do your machining, uh, you know, just like you normally would any other, do your machining. After the machining is complete, then you come back to this page again uh, on item number six which is vertical position return. So I hit vertical position return button, hit start, and now it shifts the UV axis back to the true vertical position. So 
That is the plain find 3D function, how to step-by-step -step walk through it very quick and easy. Thank you.